All right, today we're gonna cover the startup procedure for our skid steer powered chippers. The model we have here today is a CH800H, but all the procedures and the features apply to the CH500H as well. A couple of the key pieces on this machine is that we have two connection points for the skid steer. You can either hook up on the back side here or 90 degrees on the other side of the chipper. The connection to the skid steer is simple. We have three hoses, pressure, return, and a case drain. We'll go over connecting that in a little bit. Uh, common with a lot of our machines, we have the bottle jack that can be used to raise the feed roller assembly if you end up with a piece wet in the in-feed housing. One of the last pieces to cover is the control bar, and it's a four position, reverse, forward, stop, and reverse. All right, let's get this machine hooked up to the skid steer. All right, now we're gonna hook up the hoses. It's always a good idea to wipe off the, the ends of the fittings to make sure that you're not gonna introduce any debris into the hydraulic system. Line it up, pull on it just to make sure that it's seated. And the last one is the case drain. There we go. Now that the hoses are hooked up, we'll get the skid steer started and get the hydraulics flowing. All right, so once we get the hydraulics flowing to the machine, one of the things that you need to adjust on the, on the chipper is the flow control valve here. And so once you have the machine up to full RPMs, you'll make, you'll make the adjustment to the flow control until the feed roller starts to move and you can hear the rotor come up to full RPMs. 